suicide, it appears, but the bodies are posed in the exact same position. Picture of a fella looking like he'd been tortured for Decameron. Wrists slit, then snuffed out. You took a photograph from that album at a little private showing. Fake photographs you stole from a party you were not invited to. Journey. Common as box. Nancy, I see that you've met Percy. Nancy, lovely name. Well, the girls around here don't really dress like that. It's a disguise. Murders in front of the camera. But how could an animal such as this know his way around the camera? I just can't fathom it. Something happened here, didn't it? I trusted something I shouldn't do. You didn't see that trend coming, but I did. for concealed weapons. It was, but... So, are you responsible for the poor job, or was it Farley? It was me. You should know better. All right, but well, look, Charney was found in an identical position as the two suicides that I mentioned in my report. There's only so many ways you can kill yourself. And nobody on duty saw anything strange last night. Uh, nothing in the report, except for a... Uh... Communist dying in our custody, and seeing as it was a communist who didn't need to be in our custody, we could have had a much quieter report, couldn't we? Look, this is a photograph we found on him last night. Looks like McLean, isn't it? Suicide, I mean, or, or so we thought. I, I believe he was brutally tortured, photographed, and then killed. Come on, Fred, this is just power tricks. No, but look at the wounds. They're consistent with the other suicides. What's this? What's this? Black Rose. Was that on McLean when you found him? Huh? Jesus. I'm not sure. <clears throat> McLean isn't dead. The whole town knew that. And this journey was a desperate character by all accounts. I think I'm onto something here. You are getting young lads like Farrelly excited with this talk of big cases. Big cases, grow the small talk. Uh, look, Farrelly, me boy, you're only in G Division a few months, and you want a big case. Your name in the Times rising up the ranks, I get it. But this is not the Boglands, this is Dublin. Part of the British Empire. How many changelings and pukas do you see roaming the streets? Leave that old blunder to the Fenians. We deal in facts, proof. If I can prove this is real, will you have a word with Manon about putting me on the case? Uh, come on, Fred. We have Republican agitators getting bold as brass, and here you are chasing a few wastrels doing cheap photo tricks. You don't want the boys laughing at you anymore, do you? Who's laughing at me? Who's laughing at you? Look, um... Just stick to your corner, Freddy. Good man. Stick me corner up your hole. Mother. Could you not, for once? No. Don't you look much happier?
Stand. Stand on. Oh. Thanks, Cruz. Oh, I'm just keeping up appearance as young man. Lucky enough for oh, you. Oh, Jesus, will you just come on? We're from the same part of Dublin. Why are you always being so sore with me? Should we just... Should we just go for a pint one evening? Nancy, it's lovely to see you. I'm sorry for your troubles, Miss Nancy. Thank you, Carruthers. I too am very sorry for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you, Malloy. She had been mostly miserable, so in a way it's a relief. I need to warn you, though. Our family can be trying. Uncle, you already know him. Well, the others made him like that. Who's this devil at all? This is Mr. Malloy, assistant ah, to... The grave digger. No, he's not a grave digger. This is the grave digger. Uh, I'm Colonel Malloy, assistant to Mr. Blennerhassey. Please accept me deepest sympathies on your loss. My brother says you're competent, but Brock is a terrible judge of character. Can we please get this over with? I can't bear to see Mother looking so alive. All right, in you go. Wipe your shoes now. I'm sorry for your loss, sir. No, thank you for coming, Malone. You did owe me a favor. I'm honored to ask them. To my right. No, to your right. Always the photographer's right. Of course. Mother, please. A grave. It was literally pulled from a grave. Imagine digging holes for corpses for a living. Uncle Morris, can you please? One step below taking photographs of them. Apologies. Take your time. Grandmother isn't going anywhere. Maybe he should dig her grave while we have him. Uncle, I must say, the memorial photography business must be in bad shape. This is who you have working for you. He's doing a job, Henry, more than you've ever done in your... Your last young assistant was much better. What was his name? John? He was very charming. I don't remember any old assistant. Ooh, this was years ago. The fellow disappeared in the end, didn't he, brother? Remember, that friend of yours who disappeared. He wasn't my friend. He was your assistant. My assistants are not my friends. You don't have any friends, Brock. Never had. Sacrificed everything for photography. Now nah, it seems any old grave digger can use a camera. Will you just be quiet? Please. I'm ready. So, just don't move. Especially your mouths. Uh, it was quite commendable, uh, particularly under the circumstances. Oh, thanks very much, sir. Grab this. Pack Malloy's staff. 
Look, I'm going to have to stay here with these people until after the funeral. So, take tomorrow off. Let's play. Thank you very much, sir. And invest in some new art materials, Malloy. You need them. Thank you very much, sir. No. Thank you. We can stick up our bloody camera stand, but can you do my job? No chance. Yeah, it must be so hard. Sitting on your hole on top of a horse all day. I'd say your back is broken, is it? lunatic to fake a photo like that or make one I know yeah blend in and thinks I'm away with the fairies that's sloppy now pure school by her how did you miss that rules at all eh Look, it's hard to make out isn't it it's like faking black on black a bit queer of him to be wearing it no is that not the flower you give when someone has already died or lost love that's not consistent with the body you found I'm sure anyone would doubt it did you butter my bread? Aren't you lucky to have someone to butter your bread for you? Oh, I am. And the miserly amount of butter on it. And the coroner didn't find anything. No. And down to Marlborough Street, and as he said that there was nothing off with Charlie's death, and he was killed himself in the cell, and that was that. See, Fred, if you're saying he didn't kill himself in the cell, then you're saying someone killed him in the cell, in Dublin Castle. Inside Dublin Castle. I know, girl, I know. It's ridiculous. To go to that effort for a tourist. Well, find out what he was at on this holiday. Because if you're right, he must have done something to piss off the wrong people. What if I'm wrong? If you're wrong, then you're the loud cork fella going around Dublin Castle shouting about murder plots with no evidence to show for it. For you, detective. Well, we took the camera that you uh, borrowed off Mr. Blenner asset, and we were dismayed to find that all the plates were missing. Just as unfortunate. Mm. Then I met your pal Matty Talbot, and uh, he was flashing your dirty photographs from down in uh, Rutland Street. He said they were doing the rounds, so someone must have got them developed, I'd say. Yeah. Do you think? After getting a handy little job there now, you probably shouldn't want to do anything to jeopardise that. Yeah, well, I won't be. Maybe I'll ignore these photographs and maybe you will do something for me as a favour, like a good man. Ah, oh, you're blackmailing me. You'd know if I was. What are you doing here? You're trying to coerce me into informing you, is that it? Did you do those? Yeah, I did. Very good. You have an interest in photography? So do I. Maybe we could work together. That's all I'm saying. Well, well, I'll help you where I can. Right. Now, this little photograph that I'm after finding, if you find anything of a sort like that, you let me know. Because the man I found it on, dead, before I questioned him. That's a pity. I'll keep an eye on you. No, uh, now that I have you, do you know the significance of a black rose? Is it some sort of photographic prop? I've never seen one. Uh, I haven't seen one myself much either. Look.
Carruthers is here, Uncle. Let's just get home, Nancy. She's not going with you. You sent her to me, did you not? And now your convalescence is nearly complete. Nancy can return here and take care of the family home. Like her grandmother wanted. Very well. If she wants to. I want to stay with Uncle. The uncle who has ignored you for years. How weak of you, Nancy. I find that I'm happier living in town than I am here. Huh? You became very independent all of a sudden, did you? I'm sure you'll be so responsible about it. Like your brother has been. Henry and I are not the same. No, you're far less charming. Maybe you've had an influence on her after all. I suppose, Nancy, you won't need your allowance anymore. Mother, that's not fair. I worked hard for that. I minded grandmother for the longest time. It's all right, sister. You keep it. It's about time I started paying her a proper wage anyway. Nancy? Nancy, you'll come crawling back, just like your uncle did. You wanted me, boss? <sighs> you bad bastard, John. This is your first jumpy. Don't snake up on me, Farley. I'm getting most of my work, you know. Mad notion around here, you know. There's something for you. It's a Yank in town. Photograph collector of some sort. Seems to be an associate of Louis Cannon. Collector? That's a queer one. Poor landlord's getting stuck with pitchforks up and down the country. And there's the two of you like headless chickens over some fake photographs. Grand to have nothing to do, isn't it, boys? Farley, quicker you'll become a G-man, the better. Working on that bus. Mm. Mm. You stole this when we were there? Well, it was just lying about. There are some photographs missing. As the late Mr. Chalmer rips them out. Quite unfortunate. That fool was a goddamn liability. All right, Henry, I'll buy it. Hell of an addition to my collection. Delighted to have it off my hands, to be honest. I'd rather focus on a more genteel sort of photograph, riding or a bit of tit, saucy old crack, you know? Ghost photography, like we were saying. Uh, Mr. Wacker, do you know who the photographer is? I do not, but I know it was commissioned by those people whose hospitality Henry unkindly took advantage of. You don't think those photographs are real, do you? Oh, I would be inclined to think so, yes. Now, I thought you were barred from here. I think my disguise was a lot better than people give it credit for. My brother asked me to meet him in here. Oh, yes, he's holding court in the corner there. He's absolutely too much. I can't deal with it, so we're going somewhere else. Sorry, Nancy. I saw the bastard on the other side of the counter, went after him at the side exit, and you'll never guess. This pub has three different exits under three different streets. Yes. Three different exits on three different streets is madness, isn't it? Hello, Percy Cummins, lovely to meet you. Percy, this is Connell Malloy. 
Oh, you must be Mr. Malloy. Yes, I just said that. Yeah, Colonel Malloy. Yeah, that's it. That's ah, me. Ah, getting this one into trouble, eh? Heard you got yourself holed up in a whorehouse for the night. No harm, says you. No, listen, I was there for professional reasons. It was a commission, as it were. Yeah, right. Under duress, mm. I must add. Well, you've got quite the eye for naked forms, I must say. Like myself. Percy's a sculptor. I'm a sculptor. He likes a nude. Who doesn't? Decent money to be made in nude sculpting, but I'd say you made a small fortune off those pictures, did you, Malloy? Uh, no, no, not really, no. Mm. I would say people would be less inclined to buy them when they've seen them for free, like we did. So you've seen them? Oh, we saw the first spread. Did you? Yes. That's why we're leaving. Henry won't stop flashing the bloody things around. It's just too much. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Malloy! You bloody filth merchants. Get over here with things to be doing. Come on, hop! Come on now! Best of luck. You'll need it. Gentlemen, this is Malloy. He used to be a grave digger. Malloy, this here's Bushrod Whacker. Purveyor of exotic photographs, as it so happens. Did some great service in the American Civil War, you know. Dread to think how many men the old bastard has killed. Me too. <laughs> and this here is Louis Cannon. It's going to be a big name in the print business, mark my words. Gentlemen, Louis Malloy is one hell of a photographer. If he's a hell of a photographer, how come we didn't hire him? Well, I hadn't seen his work at the time. I cannot wait to see the job he did on old Granny. You should have seen her propped up there. She looked bloody radiant, the old hag. Look, look at the looks on their faces. I mean, Marvel. She looks so bloody aroused and arousing, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Malloy, when you were out at the house, you should have mentioned you did this manner of lusty picture. Uh, yeah, well, um, it might have been inappropriate on the account of your dead grandmother. You took these? Oh. Yeah. Uh, but it was Mr. Blennerhassi who, who aroused the engagement in the Shut subject. up and take a credit, dirty little devil. I have never seen intercourse photographs so beautifully. Well, thanks very much. I mean, it was my first time uh, photographing intercourse, that is. Malloy, a man of your skills shouldn't resort to taking photographs of corpses with my eccentric uncle. There is money to be made in pictures people actually want to see. And Louis, 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 hmm? Louis, you can get them out there, can't you? Uh, well, I make uh, specialist publications. It's a small operation, but there is an appetite for the strange and bizarre in photography, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. If you can get the right collection of photographs together, there's a fortune to be made. Wacker here brought us three to a party up at the Wicklow Mountains not too long ago. Some sort of secret society. It shouldn't have been there. No, and we're not supposed to talk about it either, so let's not. No, we were not the most sober trespassers, it has to be said, huh? Mighty <laughs> nice, mighty nice. Scenes of debauched, boy, Mr. Debauched. Anyway, I stole this mad, mad uh, photograph album. Shut up you about the... the photo album, man. <laughs> hey, why don't you both shut up? Malloy Wacker was saying there's big money in ghost photography in America. And Cannon's wife, poor Jocelyn, died last month. Fell down the stairs, she did. It is like I can still feel her presence in the house. I actually know what you mean, Mr. Cannon. I thought it might be a good opportunity to capture some manner of apparition. I'll capture it. The photograph, I mean. Spirit photography is an area I'm very interested in. I'm not a cynic, you know. I think there are spirits among us. I can't guarantee that I'll, I'll capture something, but I'll do my best. Let's see what Mr. Malloy can do. Mighty. <laughs> I'll make some cancellations. <laughs> Thanks very much. I'll have a drink. Malloy, a drink. Come on now. Thanks very much, gentlemen. Uh, Sloan, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Lovely. And uh, how are you planning on uh, conjuring the ghost? Well, how do you think? We've organized a seance in Cannon's house. She'll do the job. Well, 
Her name's Eva Lambert. Uh, look, I think I think she's a medium. It it says uh, like it says spirit spiritual seance on her. Lord, on her. Let me. Eva Lambert, or the Ghost Queen, as she likes to be known, a very well-known medium, notorious even in theatrical circles. She's very carefully studied. Yeah, but that's only that's only because they want to see like if she makes it up. That's it. It doesn't look like she does. People emerge from her seances thoroughly distressed. Henry has very strange interests, doesn't he? Do you want that comment to pass on the mark, Tom? Back to your proposition, Malloy. I know. The spirit photography, it's a bit more sensationalistic than your style. So I thought I might undertake the shoot by myself. And I could do the money. Well, spirit photography is merely the double exposure technique. It's just the work of charlatans. What if you capture something real? Then you're not being a charlatan. Tell me, Malloy, why are you so desperate to believe in ghosts? I think there's something quite comforting about the idea. You know, just that they're still here, minding us. I am not passing up the opportunity to go to a seance. Very well, Malloy, you've got the job. Mm. You can use one of my old cameras. Oh, thank you, sir. I think I'll come along with you, if you don't mind. Really? I didn't think it'd be your kind of thing, Uncle. Don't stop me looking around these four walls. That's the spirit. <laughs> we should take bets on how she does it. You are here for my sister's gathering. Yes, we are. Mr. Cannon extended the invitation to us. I'm very excited. What is this? Did Henry not mention that we were bringing a camera? No, he did not. They want to capture his Spirits do not like being captured. Enter. Welcome to my home. Please. Uncle Brock. Here to have a chat with the dead granny, I presume? I'm here, Henry, out of simple curiosity. Brock Blennerhassett? I own two of your originals. Most beautiful haunting tin types. Oh. How did you come upon those? There are ways, my friend. Families don't want to mourn forever. Bushrod Whacker. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And you, I'm sure. Uh, please, uh, let's start. You did not tell me that you'd be taking photographs, Mr. Cannon. Think of the publicity for you and your sister if we get this in point. Hmm? Mount your apparatus quickly. Malloy's going to do a bloody good job. He's very versatile. People riding, people being dead, people as ghosts. You do it all, don't you, Malloy? Uh, yeah. Do, do me best, Mr. Vickers. An uncle here didn't even want you to take the photographs of poor dead granny. Nancy had to talk him into it. Henry, shut up. Asked half the bloody Dublin Photographic Society did. Henry, shut up. I'm telling the truth, aren't I? Tell me if I'm lying, Brock. Quiet! 
A ghost queen is ready to meet you. Welcome them here. The spirits are ready, but they won't wait around all night. Now, hold hands. Do we really need to hold? Hold hands. Jocelyn is speaking to me. Ah, that is my wife. My late wife. She is speaking to me of a fall. Yes, she died in a fall. She says she was pushed down the stairs. In this house. Uh, no, it, it was an accident. I was in a different county at the time. We'll need evidence, I'm afraid, Jocelyn. Hard evidence. Goddamn right about hard evidence. I don't give a shit about Cannon's murdered wife, unless I can see her. She wasn't murdered, at least not by me. Jocelyn, I hear your cries. Show yourself to us. Christ! What the hell? I hear another voice. There's someone who wants to talk to you. Who wants to talk to me? Someone you loved and lost. It must be grandmother. Love, that's a bit of a stretch. <gasps> Hello. It's me. I'm still here. Who? Your assistant. Yes, my, my assistant. Uh, what else? The voice is fading. No. No. Your assistant. Is he... Is he really dead? I'm... I'm right here, so... No. Someone wants to talk to your assistant. Over there. Connell, I can talk to you again. I can sing to you like I used to. She is far from the land where her young hero sleeps and lovers around her are sighing. But coldly she turns from the gaze and weeps, for her heart in his grave is lying. Jesus. Keep it together, man. Yeah, sorry. Oh! Was pushed by some ghostly force. It's working. 
Blake, be quiet. I want to see. I didn't come here for shitty old Irish songs. I want to see something real. Shh, give her a chance, lads. Give her a chance. Stop talking, everyone. Your negative energy has attracted bad spirits. Come to Tom Grinch. Nancy, I... I'm not feeling too good. I think we should leave. There is a bad... A giant bad... Not a way. Does anyone else see the bed? Nancy, we shouldn't have taken this job. Malloy shouldn't have taken this job. God, you look demented. Are you okay? I'm <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I think I see the bat. Why is everybody seeing bats? Who knows what forms our own demons take? Well, well, maybe everyone should just calm down until this thing passes, whatever the silliness is. Alvin, is anyone else see it? Standing in the corner. I shot that bastard dead over a card game in Charleston back in 70. You know what? You're happy with me. Nancy, this is your grandmother. You are free to do what you want to do. No, grandmother can't be here. I sang her a funeral. Oh, no, wait, grandmother's ghost is here. Oh, yes. This is awful different, all the same, isn't it? We have connected with the spiritual world. Embrace it! Oh, Lord. There's more of them. Men are killed. Come to take their revenge. Meanwhile, I'm in a wild and unfamiliar land. <laughs> Does that dog live here? Just stay calm! Alvin, I only put you in the ground on the counter. You cheated me! Have it coming, you shit sucking rider! Get back! Make this stop, you witch! Oh my god, it's gone! Woo! I saw... I saw him! Saw who? Beaudry! I saw him! Go! He's not dead! We Aren't you delighted we came? Not really, no! We must go! We must go! We must go! I fear Bourgeois is going to shoot every last buck of us! I never got a photograph of the spirit! Well, you're not bloody going to get it now, are you? Who's shooting up that bleeding place? Carruthers! Bring us home! Right away! Yes. 
so strange. All the things you can see in front of your eyes, huh? Oh. Senor. Pardon me. Push over there, yes. Yeah. Just, just give over, will you? I can see so many different colors in front of my face. Can you see that? No, no, I, I can. I can see two. I can see two. Everyone's got two or three faces. I can't stand listening to this. When do we get to your house, Uncle? Oh, no, 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 Henry. You're not coming to stay in my house. He was there. He, he seen me. Yes. Very good, sir. Very good, yeah. Now, that's enough excitement for one night. A good sweet cup of tea now, and you'll be grand. Tea, tea. Yes. I'd love some tea. Mm, Thank you. Go make it yourself. We'll be back tomorrow to check on you, see if you're all still alive. Bye bye, Carruthers. Thanks for getting us home safely. Jesus, give me patience. He's such a good man, you know that? Mm. I need. I need to get to my study. Take me to my study. I saw him, Nancy. I saw him. Who? Vaudrey. Vaudrey was there. It's Vaudrey. He's my... my old... My old assistant. And he's dead. You've seen a dead person. Have we been scared witless? Is that what's going on here? Ah, that's how she does it. The crafty bitch. She's poisoned us with some manner of mind-altering concoction. That's what I said. I win the bet. You're not dead, Verdry. You're not dead. Poor uncle. I hope he had a good night. Because I tell you this, I had a bloody great time. That's it. I'm gonna die walking home. I'm gonna go wandering for miles and miles and end up face down in the daughter, seeing. Moving statues and all kinds of weird shit. No, no, stay here, Moy. You're no fit state to be out in the street. You poor boy. I can't be more of my sister be more eaten. Yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? You're a very pleasant man. Do you know that? But you've got a fella, don't you? A pair of chappies. He seems all right. That's it, but... All right. A mildly diverting distraction. And you? Why must you always be so nervous? I think you may have caught my heart off guard, Nancy. Can you see those faces? Yeah.
employer sent you this, sir. I'm not too happy that we haven't found it yet. We will. We weren't as discreet this evening as we previously have been. But what I'm saying, sir, is we need to be careful. Get out. <laughs> 